Welcome to Action Strings 2, the new way to build anthemic string parts for blockbuster scoring. In this walkthrough video, I'll be looking at the main features of this brand new 30 gigabyte library, showing some of the phrases and delving into the completely overhauled engine. I'll be running through new features, including the innovative live module system, a fun way to easily chain together building blocks of short string performances and then play them live for unparalleled realism. Action Strings 2 is primarily designed for scoring blockbuster action scenes, but the versatility of the instrument allows you to use it for other purposes too. Whether it's hybrid scores or even electronic music, you can use it on pretty much any task that needs high energy, dramatic string sounds. Just for fun, as I go along, I'll be showing off footage from the Action Strings 2 trailer, just to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to use these phrases as a basis for entire cues as well as how you can tweak them to your own needs. So why did we make Action Strings 2? Although the first iteration of Action Strings was a landmark in realistic and epic playable string phrases, we felt that we could go further with the flexibility and functionality. Action Strings 2 is a completely original product, using none of its predecessor's samples or programming. The new sample pool is three times the size of the original, with five mic positions, up to seven round robins for the phrases, and up to ten for the single articulations. Where Action Strings 2 really shines is how you can completely customise the hundreds of phrases, or construct phrases of your own using the all new live modules. These are short snippets of live recordings captured in multiple round robins and dynamics. String these building blocks together in any way you like to create your own bespoke phrases. Play them live using the high and low ensembles of Action Strings 2, or export the MIDI into your door for further tweaking. Compared to the original action strings, this new way to play is far more realistic, tactile, and infinitely customizable. I'll cover all of this in far more detail later, but for now, here's an example of the live modules and newly recorded single articulations in action. <laughs> Let's look at the basics first. This is the interface for Action Strings 2, clean and simple, with more advanced options tucked away within menus at the top and bottom. The 10 red key switches here are used to select phrases, from the library or ones that you make yourself. You can also rearrange the order of the key switches and articulations by dragging them in the interface. Or you can choose the new single articulations, including staccato, staccatissimo, marcato, sustain, tremolo, and halftone trills. Of course, you'll likely already have some of these articulations in your arsenal from other libraries, but these performances were recorded by the same orchestra with the same mic placements. So the variety of articulations are perfect for augmenting phrases with your own live playing, or you can use them as part of the phrases themselves. This means that you can write full string compositions without leaving action strings too. <laughs> Thank you. 
Normally high and low strings play together, but you can solo each just here. It's also possible to adjust the octave of playback for each section. And don't forget that your mod wheel will control the dynamics. To help you get to the right material quickly, there's a browser full of useful themes that will load phrases in a variety of categories, ensemble combinations, fills and meters. Select the tags that you need and then browse the available themes, favoriting the ones that you love the most. Choosing a theme will assign the lowest key switch at C to the main theme, the other key switches will be set to variations of that theme and useful single articulations for embellishment. Let's check out a few more of these themes. The microphone positions, EQ, output and reverb options can be found in the mixer pane. I'll turn off the reverb for now so that you can hear the mics alone. The default is a fully mixed scoring stage option. Then there's close mics for a more intimate sound, spot mics for accurate stereo placement and less mic bleed, Decker tree for a traditional overhead setup, and far mics placed further back in the hall. Each of these mic positions has pan, level, solo and mute, reverb send, and output controls. The high and low string ensembles can have their mic mixing and other levels adjusted independently by using the unlink control just here opening up options for precise sound staging. There are also a number of mic mixing presets accessible just here. The three band equalizer gives broad control over the tone of the strings and you choose a realistic reverb space just here. Now let's turn to the editor page, which is the real heart of Action Strings 2. Because all of the tempo synced material of Action Strings 2 was recorded in small building blocks that we call live modules, this page allows you to customise the phrases exactly to your liking. Firstly, let me tell you a little about the thinking behind live modules, as I'll be spending a few minutes explaining both how to edit the pre-composed themes and phrases, 
and also how to create your own phrases from scratch. With string samples, you usually have to pick a position between the realism of pre-recorded phrases or the flexibility of individual articulations, and there's always a trade-off. With phrases, you lose the ability to compose your own parts. With multi-sampled articulations, it can be difficult to create a natural flowing string line out of individual samples. Action Strings 2 solves this problem with more than 125 mini phrases, recorded at different pitches and dynamics. These include single notes, basic rhythms, diatonic and chromatic figures, falls, different types of trill figures and runs. This vast range of short tempo-synced building blocks can be fused together in countless combinations to give a level of realism and polish that simply cannot be achieved with most other string libraries. Whether you can read notation or not, we've developed an editor that is easy to use and very visual, clearly displaying the types of modules and how the notes progress throughout the phrase. Let's get hands-on and I'll demo how simple this live module system is to use. I'll choose a couple of phrases first just to give us something to work with. In the main window, you can click any phrase to change it, opening the phrase browser, which operates in just the same way as the theme browser, but with more specific categories. For the low ensembles, let's pick a basic rhythm, and for high strings, a basic trills phrase. Clicking into the editor window, you can see the two different editing sections for high and low strings, and these can be customised completely independently. First off, any long articulation or module can have its relative volume envelope changed throughout playback. Just grab the handles and drag to adjust envelope shapes. Here I'll increase each individual trill's volume as it plays. For the shorts, just like these low string staccatos, there's just a single step to adjust. There are two playback modes, with a toggle here, melody mode and arpeggiator mode. Let's program a low string melody. The melody mode is optimised for playing melodies with single keys. Change the pitch of every module chromatically by clicking and dragging its number up and down. You'll see the notation change too. And I can do the same with the high strings. Let's choose some different phrases which contain different live module sequences, this time from the arpeggio selection. In the high strings, sparkling star 1 and low strings, final siege low 2. The arpeggio playback mode is automatically engaged for these particular phrases and I'll explain what's happening here. With the low module soloed, let's play the same three note chord and listen to melody mode. and arpeggio mode. You can hear the arpeggio in action. There are lots of ways to force the engine to play particular sequences of notes and lock note selection to specific notes of a chord. For example, if I click here, there are options for different arp playback sequences. Using the powerful note selection feature here, you can set up which notes of your played chord will be taken into account for the engine. For example, selecting lowest and playing the same three note chord will result in just the lowest of the notes being played. Whereas lowest two will play just the two lowest notes of the chord. And so on. So you might be starting to see just how powerful these different playback modes are, and I haven't even got into editing the phrases and live modules yet. Let's flick back to the main window and load up a really simple theme. Click the little pencil icon and that will take you straight to the editor. Hitting this magnifying glass or double clicking directly on a live module will open options to change the modules. It's as simple as choosing from the categories, single notes, basic rhythms, diatonic or chromatic figures, falls, trill figures, major or minor runs, 
and just for the low ensemble, crescendos. The engine will intelligently edit the playback of the live modules to give you the best performance. All you have to do is choose the modules and adjust the envelopes and playback modes to taste. Once you're happy with the performance, you can export the MIDI into your DAW to use with other instruments. Click here to go through the steps. Begin playback in your DAW, capturing the performance. Then stop playback and drag and drop the recorded data into your project. Then you get the MIDI from the two ensembles on two separate tracks, ready to be used with other instruments. For example, Woodwind Ensemble, which you could develop into a whole cue. Before I wrap up, a quick look at this menu of advanced controls, where you can change the MIDI CC for dynamic control, set note release time, and set action strings 2 to perform at half or double time in comparison to your door useful if you're running very slow or fast projects. There's so much more to Action Strings 2 that I haven't had time to show in this overview video, from the hundreds of themes, phrases and live modules, to different time signatures, editing functions, automatic variation selection and user preset sharing. Action Strings 2 is the most flexible way to bring heart-stopping string parts to your cues with creative control and stunning musicality. For more information, audio and video demos, head to nativeinstruments.com. Thanks for watching.